If you've been on Etsy recently, you may have noticed that one of the hottest design trends right now is cottagecore. Cottagecore is a vintage design aesthetic that incorporates natural elements, such as flowers, butterflies, etc. And there are dozens of bestsellers on Etsy right now, making hundreds and thousands of dollars a month. Specifically, one of the hottest trends in this niche are vintage floral designs set against a black or dark background, like here and here. And of course, I did a little bit of research and sleuthed out some high search but low competition SEO in this niche. And I was surprised to find that cottage core dresses are very high search but low competition. And you may not know this, but Printify, a print and demand platform that prints and ships products for you, offers an all over print dress that I'm actually wearing right now. And I was surprised by both the quality of the dress and the print quality of the dress, especially because I created the all over print design with AI. And I've gotten tons of compliments on this dress every single time I wear it out. And you will be very surprised at how easy it is to generate high quality images with AI that you can then put on an all over print design on Printify. And I've been on Etsy and there is little to no competition in this niche in the print and demand space. And you may be thinking, Angel, there's no way I can price my products competitively using print and demand. But doing some research on Etsy, I discovered that some of the best selling dresses and items in this niche were well over $50. Some of them were even over $100. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate stunning AI images that are 100% on trend right now and how to upload these images to Printify so that you can take advantage of this unique opportunity that currently exists on Etsy. And other platforms. And if you like zero fluff content that usually no one else is talking about because they're not really interested in learning about how to leverage AI for your business or willing to take the time to do the research that I'm willing to do for you, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more videos. Let's do this. And then you'll have your blank canvas here. And then on the left, you're going to select Kittle AI and you'll have your canvas here. And then on the left, select Kittle AI. You can choose how you want to create your image. I'm just going to make mine square this time. And then I'm going to type in the prompt vintage flowers and butterfly clip art, and then select generate image. And this is the image that the AI image generator created. I'm really happy with it because I just love how vibrant the colors are here in the flowers and in the butterfly and just all the details. However, I need to remove the background. So to remove the background, you simply select the image and then go to AI image background remover. I also plan on putting this on a black background, so I'm going to go ahead and change that as well just so I can see what that looks like. And while I really like this image, I need to kind of move it around or create a pattern with it so that it looks a little bit better and more suitable for an all over print design. So then I just select the image and then select duplicate. And then I can just move the design around and make it smaller or larger. And then when I'm happy with the design, I can go ahead and download this. I select download remove background, optimize quality. I make sure it's in 300 DPI and then save as a PNG. So once you're signed into Printify, you're going to want to go to the Printify catalog and then select skirts and dresses under women's clothing. Now you, you can create a skirt, a t-shirt dress, but for this example, we're going to create the women's skater dress. Start designing. And then you will begin designing the dress starting with the front top. So as you can see here, I have uploaded my design and I just kind of moved it around until I liked the way it looked. Then select back top. I added my design there. For the front bottom, that was a little trickier. I actually had to go through and upload the design multiple times. However, if you have a small design, you can also just scroll down to create pattern and it would create a pattern for you with that design, which you may actually like better. So I just added the design twice, one on each side and kind of moved it around until I really liked it. And I did the exact same thing to the back bottom. I've got two different designs here that I've uploaded. And then you can see an all overview of how it turned out as well. And then select preview. And then you can select the different previews and see how happy you are with, with how the design turned out. So this is the back and this is a front view of someone wearing the dress. If there is a particular mockup that you want to save, maybe you want to create your own mockup in Kittle, for example, then you would just select download mockup and then it would actually download a PNG file of that image to your device. And when you publish this to your Etsy shop or Shopify store, whichever platform you have integrated with Printify, it will publish all these mockups with it as well. Then when you're ready, save product and you can push this to your store or you can choose to add your own mockups. And then when you're ready, you can save product and push this to your store. Keep in mind that cottagecore isn't just trending in dresses, but pretty much in all categories and with most products, such as mugs, pillows, 
hoodies, sweatshirts, especially sweatshirts that have the sleeve prints, even cell phone cases and canvas prints. You name it. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. Let me know in the comments if this is a product that you would ever consider designing for for your own shop, as well as any questions you may have or suggestions for videos in the future. Up next is a video about AI and Etsy you may want to check out. See you all there.